Hi and welcome students. In this video I'm going to be talking about how to get help in Microsoft Office 2016 and Windows 10. This video is going to be a little bit different because I'm not going to cover a specific topic but rather general concepts when you're using these programs. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to show you in Microsoft Word here and uh, let's say that you want to do something in Microsoft Word. Now my last video showed you how to put these dot leaders in but what happens if you didn't know how to do dot leaders? Well probably you'd look it up on YouTube and maybe that's how you found this video and so you might look it up on YouTube and you might find an answer but if you wanted to do that within Microsoft Office and you don't mind reading rather than viewing uh, you could go right here to this button it's a uh, it's also known as tell me okay and it's alt Q on your keyboard if you're using a PC and if you click in here and let's say I typed in dot leaders okay dot leaders it's going to say uh, a couple different things it's going to say table of contents add a header edit header remove header and so on and so forth so you can actually do different sorts of lookups and things like that but you can find it generally does an okay job of finding out what you're looking for usually when you're doing dot leaders it's in a table of contents but you can see right just from this example it doesn't necessarily lead you to your solution all the time. Now if I wanted to do something simple like put in a footer onto my document, I could click right here and type footer and it says edit footer and then I could click that and I'm down in my footer. So if you don't ever know where a button is, this is kind of a good place to start. Uh, generally the concepts that you can learn on your office tell me area are pretty basic. Uh, you still may need to uh, read an article or go find a YouTube video uh, if you do need help with something a little bit more specific or if you are more of a visual learner. So that's what Microsoft Office has to offer in terms of help. Now I'm going to kind of switch gears to Windows Windows 10. So Windows 10 by default, you may notice down here on the taskbar, I do not have Cortana down here. It's a little search button uh, that shows you what to do the, uh, or shows you what you can type in. But rather what I do is I just hit the Windows key and then I'll start to type something in that I'm looking for. Maybe I'm looking for how to adjust screen resolution. So if I type in screen resolution, we'll see what it does here, change display settings. So it'll redirect you to the spot that you need. Uh, so that's kind of good. Uh, Cortana does a nice job of figuring out kind of what you're looking for uh, based off of the words that you've chosen to type in. So again, one more time to do that, I just press the Windows key or click the start menu down here and I immediately start to type. Let's see if I want to see, let's, uh, let's say I want to uh, see if I have access on my computer. So if I type in access, Access 2016 pops up, so that's nice as well. So I could quickly find the name of any program. You see that I have a file here called create and modify lists. What happens if I type that in here? Create and modify lists. There it is. Okay, so I had to type in quite a bit of that before it actually showed up, but then it showed up right there. So there is a way to view not only your programs or specific ideas, but also specific files in this area. So again, it's the Windows key, then you type what you're looking for. Okay, so there's no real need to have that search engine or Cortana down here because it's going to search Cortana anyway. So I get rid of that tab and I just rely on my keyboard shortcut of pressing the Windows key before I actually need to search something. So hopefully this video has helped you out. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section. I'll try to help you out. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.